Andy here. I'm a vintage reseller and today I have a haul video for you. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that I am in a new spot in my house. This spot actually doesn't exist. It is so dark here in Portland today. It might as well be nighttime. So I had to find like the brightest corner of my home, which happens to be where my son plays. So all his toys are off screen. <laughs> if you were to see the chaos that is like before me, you would be like, yeah, but this is like a nice, soft, soothing background. So yeah, this chair, not usually here. Picture, not usually here. Plant, always here because this is in this play area. You may remember I actually thrifted this. It is blossoming in this corner because of all the light. So yeah, we're going to make it work. It's going to maybe be a little like creaky. This leather chair is kind of noisy and it's also really deep. So I feel like I'm going to be like going like this a lot. So bear with me. We'll get through this haul. I have so many amazing things to show you. First, we're gonna go thrifting. I have a little bit of footage of me out and about. I actually did a lot over um, Black Friday, over Thanksgiving, so you'll see some of that footage. Um, and then we're gonna bring everything home. And like usual, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna sell in my Etsy shop. So let's get thrifting. So I'm in my car, headed to one of my very favorite thrift stores, Curiosities in downtown Tigard. Decided to do some Black Friday shopping, but instead of going to the big box stores, I'm going to be doing some thrifting, of course, because that's what I love to do. So can't wait to see what I find. Some of my very favorite vendors are having big sales. And there's one thing in particular I'm hoping is there because I've been eyeing it for ages. So yeah, at a discount, it definitely would be within my price range to buy. Uh, but we'll see. I can't wait to score some amazing things today. Okay, so that was a success. Found some really cool pieces. Definitely on the hunt for brass trays and brass stuff. You, you know me. Usually I'm picking up brass, but definitely brass trays because I've actually sold out of all of my brass trays. So I definitely have to restock on that. So I got a cool one. But I think the thing that I'm most excited about is this like brass stand and it has a squirrel on it it was only eight dollars with 20 percent off which is crazy um so i think that's like the steal of the day so far um but yeah i'm just so excited it's so heavy so shipping it could be a little bit of a nightmare but i thought it was just so cute i just well you know me i, I just love brass and animals it seems to be my thing so anyways i am at my next stop um this place usually has really great finds for me i have scored a lot of stuff here in the past so really excited hopefully today is good luck too So I'm back home, the last stop had some really great things. I found more brass trays, which is amazing. So I'm gonna be well stocked again soon. 
and some enamel wear, which I don't usually pick up, but I can't wait to show it to you and some other like fun stuff. But one thing I will show you in the car right now is this wicker animal. Oh my God. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. You're probably like, you don't need another one of those. You have so many, but when I see them, I have to pick them up, especially when they're only like $8, which is incredible. So look at how cute this little guy is. Can't wait to add them to my collection. So I have a little bit of brass, like always, if you watch me, you know I pick up a lot of brass. I have some baskets, I have some, well, let me see, what else do I have? Oh, Christmas stuff, I have some Christmas stuff, like last minute things that I did not show you in my last video that I did. And then I also have some things that I like never, ever pick up. One of them is, it's very polarizing. Some people are like, I love it. And other people are like, that is the most hideous thing I think I have ever seen. So it will be interesting to see what you guys think of it. Um, when I saw it at the thrift store, I was like, you're coming home with me and I will just like figure it out. So can't wait to show you that. That of course is going to be at the end of the video. I know. I'm sorry. I put the like really like tantalizing stuff at the end because I want to make sure you watch all the way through my video. So can't wait to show you what I got. Let's get started. So the first few things I'm going to show you today, you'll remember from the footage, the first being this amazing basket. I thought this was absolutely stunning. I mean, the colors are just so on trend, so spot on. Boho baskets like this are still very popular. Um, they're just like a lovely way to add like texture and visual interest in your home, especially if you have like a more neutral color palette. You know, sometimes it's hard to create visual interest when everything is kind of that same color. Um, so stuff like this they have that are highly textural, a really great way to really add that wow factor. So it has this matching lid, which I thought was awesome very deep you actually could use it for storage um, because it really is very functional so yeah when I saw it $21 and then half off of that I was like absolutely sold had to pick it up and then the other two things from that booth were this lovely brass pitcher I mean you know me I can't say no <laughs> to a brass pitcher especially something like this that was so reasonably priced you can kind of see the original stamp on the bottom, letting you know it's vintage. It's very solid, very sculptural. I love this like skinny little handle and the shape. I mean, this would look absolutely adorable, styled on a shelf on its own, but also with flowers in it. It's just a really, really sweet size. So yeah, when I got this, had to pick it up, 50% off. A yes, please, had to get it. And then the last thing I got from that booth were these very cool, tall wooden candlesticks. Now wooden candlesticks, I'm not picking up as often. I usually am picking up brass. You'll see some brass candle stuff in this video, of course, because I'm finding so much of it right now and it's very, very popular and selling well. But I thought these were just so sculptural. Very, very cool. I love the wood tones on them because it's like this lovely, rich, deep color. Um, has the original felting on the bottom, the green felt. If you watch my channel, you know green felt usually is a signal that it's something that is vintage because they just don't use the, this uh, green felt on stuff anymore. So when I saw these, had to get them because they're just were such a good shape, so beautiful. And I just thought, oh, styled on a bookcase or styled on your tablescape for like the holidays or really any time of the year, these would just be amazing. So yeah, these will be available in my Etsy shop. This will be available in my Etsy shop and that boho basket will be available in my Etsy shop. So a couple more pieces from that first stop that I did at one of my very favorite vintage malls. I also got this, and bear with me because everything is like literally all over the floor because I'm not in my normal spot to do this. I got this basket too, same like tones as the first one, um, but I thought the shape was absolutely lovely. And the fact that it has like this pedestal bottom, I mean, this is an amazing catch-all size. Like in an entryway on a console table, I mean, amazing for keys, other things that you're gonna put in here. I thought this was really, really great. So when I saw it, I had to get it and it's such a sturdy Pretty solid basket. It definitely could like withstand keys and stuff without any sort of damage. So when I saw this, I had to get this. And then the last thing that I got from that um, antique mall was this very cool Christmas woven wall hanging. When I saw this, I, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> you can hear the jingles. This has jingles, so it's really, really cute. It is, let me step back a little bit. It is a Christmas tree made out of Santas and they're all so cute and matching and fuzzy and then along the edges are these adorable brass gold bells. So when I saw this I thought it was very very cute. 
really colorful, which if you watch my channel, you know I love decorating with very colorful things. I tend to pick up neutral things for my Etsy shop because that is what is so popular and what sells. But for me, like personally speaking, I like to pick up a lot of color. I like to decorate with color. So when I saw this and like all the punchy Christmas tones, had to get it. Already has like the wooden thing in here, making it really easy to style. So yeah, when I saw this, I it was just so cute and I had to get it. It was $18, so I paid a little lot for it, but I thought it had just such an exquisite, you know, construction that I just could not let it go. So yeah, absolutely love this. This will not be available in my Etsy shop. So a few more Christmas things to show you. I got this adorable Christmas tree. Now this is not a vintage piece, most likely. It is, let me take the stamp up. Oh, well, yeah, it literally has the date underneath of the tag. So it's from 2019, so that is not vintage, although it may feel vintage because 2019 seems like a billion years ago um, at this point in the pandemic. Uh, but anyways, I thought this was such a cool, sculptural, interesting Christmas tree. Um, you know, it's kind of like that, like the Grinch stole Christmas type of Christmas tree. If you watch my last video where I did like most of my Christmas decor, I actually found another Christmas tree that was very like strange and cool and kitschy. So yeah, this one paired with that one. I absolutely love it with my little um, deer that I picked up. So yeah, this guy, when I saw it, I was just like, oh, this will make like a perfect addition to my vignette, my Christmas vignette. So yeah, had to get it. And then the next and final Christmas item that I got, which I actually haven't opened up and like used yet. I just got it um, actually like yesterday. Um, but I wanted to show you and not save it for a future haul because it is so like, you know, Finally, is this huge giant bag of Christmas bead garland. So when I saw this, I was like blown away because it is, I know it just like keeps coming. It's like literally just keeps coming. So I don't even know how many strands are in this, but it was a pretty sizable bag. So this was $6.99 for all this garland. I was a little afraid I was gonna open it up and all the beads would just go ping everywhere. And then my dog would eat them and it just would be chaos. But so far, so good. They seem to all be intact, but they have these cute little Santa faces, if you can see them on the beads. I thought it was just so fun. I have never met a Christmas garland I haven't loved. I'm absolutely obsessed with the Christmas garland. Around my home, I have probably every felted Christmas garland that has ever existed. Probably thanks to Trader Joe's too, because if you have a Trader Joe's near you and you shop there, you probably have realized they have such reasonably priced felted garlands, so I've gotten a lot. So yeah, I don't know if I necessarily need these, but like I said, I can't turn down a garland. So these will probably be, not be available in my Etsy shop. I'm not sure exactly where they came from or how to date them. Um, but yeah, I thought they were super cute. My son actually has a Christmas tree in his room, a fake one. Um, and uh, he needs a few more things, like decorations on it. So I may give these to him. I'll have to be really careful because I do not know how delicate it will be. But yeah, when I saw this bag, I was just like, you are coming home with me. Had to pick it up. So you guys, I just looked down at my pile and I realized I actually have more Christmas stuff to show you. I don't know what I was thinking when I said that was all of it. I think it's because I have just so many things to show you. Totally forgot that these pieces were underneath another item. Um, so the first thing is this beautiful brass candle holder. Now in my defense, this is definitely not Christmassy. So maybe that's why I like totally didn't think I'm just using it for Christmas right now. Um, this is one of the problems with being a reseller is that you bring something home and when you're styling it up for photos, you fall in love with it and keep it. So I may be having this um, in my Etsy shop. I'm not sure yet because like I said, I do really love it and I made the mistake of starting to use it. So yeah, this is absolutely stunning. I fell in love with the shape. I mean, look at all of this detailing, so beautiful. I think the reason why it resonated so much with me for Christmas is because this shape kind of reminds me of like a snowflake. So yeah, definitely style up with um, a like one of these pillar calendars, uh, bleh, bleh, pillar candles. I thought it was really, really beautiful. So yeah, when I saw this, I had to get it and now it might be mine. Uh, we'll see. Um, but the next thing that is definitely Christmas and not transitional like that um, candle holder, are these brass snowflakes. So I did not know these existed. I'm always amazed at all the things that were made out of brass back in the day, but I thought these were absolutely stunning. They just kind of add another like fun Christmassy like 
wintry touch to my decor. I just have them like on my dining room table as part of my table escape. So yeah, when I saw these, I had to get them. I think they were only $1.99 each. I've removed the stickers and totally forgot to make a note about it for this video. But yeah, these will not be available in my Etsy shop. I'm sorry. I just, when I saw them, I thought they were so unique that I had to keep them. And while we're talking about brass, I have these cute little brass candle holders. Now, you know, if you watched my last video, I know I keep talking about my last video, but you know, if you watched it, that I am now obsessed with mini candy holder candy. God, I cannot talk today. Um, I'm obsessed with mini candle holders, uh, especially the ones that fit like a taper size candle. So my mother-in-law actually got me some very teeny tiny ones like this tall from the UK, brought them over when she visited, and then I found these ones. So they're just a little bit bigger than the other ones, um, but yeah, they're just so, so cute and sweet. I had no idea until recently when I was out shopping at a boutique that these actually even existed. I'm just so used to seeing like the very large table candle holders. So yeah, so excited to find these. Now I'm starting to find them everywhere because I actually found another set while I was thrifting the other day. So yeah, these ones are all shined up, ready to go. These will be available in my Etsy shop because I just absolutely adore them. But I'm finding so many now, I don't need to keep them all. These actually fit a, what's called a slim candle. That's one thing that has been very interesting to me and uh, my education on candles is by getting all these different size candle holders, I'm finding out there are so many different size candles. So I'm figuring out which ones go with what. So if you like these, or if you have some that are the size and you're kind of confused on what type of candles to get, they're called slims. So, um, so yeah, so anyways, these will be available in my Etsy shop. It's gonna be hard to let them go, but I have found another pair, like I said, so not too bad. But yeah, when I saw these, I had to get them. They were just so, so cute. I have some more brass items to show you. Now, vintage brass trays are something that I sell a lot of in my shop. So that was something that I was definitely looking for when I went out thrifting on um, Black Friday. I was really excited to actually find three brass trays that day because I have sold out of every single brass tray before the holidays. So I definitely needed to restock. These are a bread and butter thing for me. They always sell. I was very excited by the ones that I picked up. They're all very interesting and sculptural. This one here has like these very cute little feet on it and like this lovely like bobble detail on the end. And then of course like that awesome like etched, almost like, is it a dragon? Yes, awesome etched dragon in the center. Absolutely fell in love with it. And then the other ones that you may remember from the footage are these matching brass trays. Um, they came as a set, I think they were $45 for a set. So individually, that's a pretty good price. Most of the time I sell these for at least like, I don't know, 58 to like almost $100 is what they usually go for because um, they are really, really, really popular, very collectible. Um, and they just really withstand the test of time, especially if you choose to like shine them up, they look absolutely stunning. So these ones have this awesome like scalloped edge and then the beautiful like detailing and scene in the center. Each one has like a different scene. This one, the bigger one I love because it actually has like these little feet right here, which makes it um, even more like interesting in terms of like setting it on a surface, you know, props it up, makes it just that much more visually interesting. So yeah, when I saw these trays, had to get them because like I said, they sell like um, hotcakes in my SU shop. So these definitely will be available and I will link them down below. The final few items are things that I don't usually pick up, mostly because I am never finding them. Um, and, the and the actual thing at the end, like I talked about in earlier in the video, is kind of weird and people are very mixed about it, but I can't wait to get your opinions. But these next two things I have to show you are definitely, you know, not as polarizing. Um, they're very collectible, very popular. I don't come across dance um, enamel wear very often. So when I saw it, I was so excited. Now these types of pieces are not cheap. Usually when you find them at the thrift store, I cannot believe I actually got these for the price that I did. This one was 38 and then I have a larger one that was like, I think 42. It's a really good deal. These things usually go um, for well over a hundred dollars, sometimes even $200. They're just really popular and collectible. I think people just absolutely love like these really skinny, very interesting details are very, just a sculptural pan. The colors are always 
really, really punchy. Um, like yellow is one of the very popular colors and they have blue and they have red. So yeah, there's a lot of different colors that these come in that I just thought very, very cool. So yeah, I couldn't wait to get these home um, and get these up on my Etsy shop because yeah, they're just so beautiful and collectible. So yeah, when I saw them, I was just like, this is now my time. I finally have found these in the wild. So I was very excited, so I had to get them. Okay, you ready to see the thing that I picked up that everyone is kind of like mixed about? <laughs> Not sure how they feel. Some people are very much like, ooh, that's neat. And other people are like, ooh, that is like hideous. So kind of the background of why I picked it up. So statement lighting. So yes, it is a piece of lighting. Statement lighting is a big, big trend for 2022. And I don't mean things that are just like, you know, like your different type of pendant. I'm talking about lighting that in and of itself is a big time statement. So this is like out of the box lighting. I actually write trend reports for clients. And so when I saw this, I was like, this is the statement lighting that all those interior design insiders are definitely talking about. So I can't wait to show you what it looks like and get your opinions on if you <laughs> think it's hideous or if you think it's very cool. Okay, there she is. It is this wild, absolutely crazy sculptural lamp. This is from, I believe the eighties. It's called the Lotus lamp. It came in a bunch of different like um, colorways. This happens to be the one that has like the smoky, like um, gray, black glass, but it has this really cool detailing in each of the petals and then all of this like brass um, detailing on the edges. Very, very interesting. Like I said, super sculptural. Very crazy. When I saw it for $20, I was like, yeah, I think I'm just going to bring you home and kind of see what's what. They actually go for um, like 350 bucks online, which I thought was incredible. So I am very much tempted to sell it because it is like such a statement piece and it, there is a lot of value um, and vintage lighting online when you're reselling. So yeah, I may Maybe sell it, I don't know, because I think it's very interesting. I was very surprised to actually like fall in love with it so like as much as I did. Um, because I kind of bought it on a limb and then I wanted to see what it looked like lit up. And when I lit it up and then it's been in my living room for a little bit, like a couple weeks, I'm like, ooh, I may never be able to get it rid of you. So let me show you what it looks like all turned on them. So this is what it looks like all lit up. So super pretty. It's definitely a little bit more like blown out here in terms of like the white than it is in real life. It's a little, definitely like a softer glow in real life. Um, like if you were here in my room with me, but yeah, very, very beautiful, very sculptural. <laughs> Not for everybody. I totally get that. But now that it's been in my house, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rid of it. So yeah, this is a very crazy piece that people are very mixed about, but I happen to absolutely love. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my haul video. And if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. If you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my YouTube videos, definitely check me out on Instagram. I share lots of behind the scenes and sneak peeks of my finds before they make it into my YouTube videos here. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you on my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.